Ministers, we hear that many UCC students are now panicking due to the lack of affordable beds near campus. Some are facing six-hour commutes to college and may have to drop out of their course. And we know that the student village in Cork is denying students rooms because of a signed contract with IPAS to take asylum seekers instead. So I'd just like to ask how many more asylum seekers can Ireland actually handle? We currently have about 90,000 and your government previously committed to 200,000. So do you still think that we could take more than double the current number? Well, I think firstly, just to say, in relation to provision of student accommodation, we as a government are working very hard on that. And Minister Harris has done a very good job there. This government is funding a um, thousand direct bed places through 61 million euro investment of building new uh, student on campus student accommodation that's affordable. The accommodation remains remains a challenge for people. That's why we've, with Minister Donoghue's help and, and others, we've extended the rent rent a room scheme, uh, the 14,000 euro limit that's been very successful, particularly around uh, around our colleges too, and actually removing some of the barriers that people would have had there. Whilst we're increasing supply across the board, 30,000 new homes last year, we intend to do more this year. Uh, in relation to our obligations as a state, we have international obligations to help those who need our help, uh, to protect those who are fleeing persecution. Uh, and we, as a government, will see good on that. Uh, and as I've said before, we know well from our history of a people what it's like to be persecuted, what it's like to be thrown from our own land, from our own country. And some of the countries that we went to, we weren't, we weren't welcomed or treated that well, and that will not happen in Ireland. And the, so it's not one or the other, Ben. It's basically, we have, we have obligations morally uh, as, as a people, and I think the vast majority of our, of our citizens in Ireland support the approach that we're taking. Not without its difficulties from time to time, but we've managed to be able to help nearly 100,000 people who've been fleeing persecution between the war in Ukraine and indeed other, other conflicts, and I think that is the right thing for us to continue to do. But, but Minister, you know that obviously the, some of these international regulations, they, they also have provisions for the capacity of the country that you, know, you, you, you aren't required to take literally an unlimited amount of people. So what I'm asking is, if say another 100,000 thousand people were to arrive, do you think we could handle that? Because that was the commitment that your government we're made not, last year. We're not going to deal with hypotheticals. Last year the commitment that was made was really in relation to projections. There were a higher number of, of people projected to come in that has happened. What I'm saying to you here is, and Minister Dunham may wish to add to this as well, is that it's our job as, as a modern welcoming country, as a modern republic, to look after those who need our assistance. And we're doing that as a country and we'll continue to do that. Well, at the, at, the start, at the start of this year, uh, the civil service were making projections that there could be 180,000 people here by the end of the year. So th these are projections that have been made very recently. And again, these are coming from the government themselves. So I, I guess what I'm trying to ask is, hypothetically, if those kinds of numbers were to arrive, could we handle that? Well, we do with reality, not hypotheticals, okay? That's what I'd say. And I think we've shown good our commitments to helping those who need our help heretofore with the support of the Irish people. But the people who are coming to our country in those circumstances are fleeing a war, uh, or they are fleeing, in many cases, the disintegration and breakup of the countries in which they were living in. I mean, I have met Ukrainian families who are living here, living in this constituency, living, in fact, round the corner from here, who were like you and me, who were living in their homes, and bombs started falling on them. And they had to leave Ukraine or other parts of Europe in circumstances that are beyond our imagination. And we will find the money and we will find a way of supporting them, as we have done. Uh, it is demanding, it is difficult. Uh, we're all aware of the challenges that, that are there with the demands that are here in Ireland already for accommodation and already for housing uh, to meet the needs of those who are coming to our country. But they're coming to our country looking for refuge. We will do our very, very best to help them. But as Minister O'Brien has already said, this does not take the place of our desire to go ahead and build more student accommodation. And due to the work that was done by Minister O'Brien and Minister Harris, we now have, for example, proposals that have been funded for go by government for new student accommodation in DCU. Uh, we have uh, given the go-ahead to new student accommodation in other universities and colleges. And if you were to go up to Technological University Dublin, you'll see student accommodation there adjacent to where TUD is that wasn't there before that college was built. And that is the approach that we're committed to continuing. Thanks, guys. Thank you.